Good morning and Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Rabbi Ephraim Goldberg shared the following story about Rabbi Hirschel Shechter. Rabbi Hirschel Shechter is the Rosh Hashiva at Yeshiva University. And he just recently celebrated his 80th birthday. And Rabbi Shechter, whenever he has a tea, even if he's been speaking for many hours, lecturing, and he asks for a hot tea, whenever he's offered sugar or sweet and low, he always declines sugar in his tea. And one time he was a guest in someone's house and the host offered him tea and asked him if he would like some sugar and he said no. He said, you're sure? It's not uh, so sweet. It's a little uh, bland. He said no. And so finally the host pressured him to tell him why he doesn't like his tea with sugar. And he revealed the reason. He said, when I was newly married, my wife and I went to Israel and we visited a kibbutz. And on the kibbutz, they offered us a glass of tea, which I accepted. And then they offered me some sugar with the tea. But I wasn't sure if the kibbutznik who offered me the tea knew the laws of taking ma'aser, which is the tide, from sugar. And so I said to the kibbutznik on my trip, I don't take sugar with my tea. I only did it because I didn't want to embarrass him and ask him if he takes the tides from the sugar. However, since I said those words, I don't take sugar with my tea, I've never ever had sugar with my tea since then. This is over 50 years that he has not had sugar with his tea because he uttered the words, I don't take sugar with my tea. This week's Torah portion has the commandment of Motzei Sefasecha Tishmor. You should guard what comes out of your mouth. And the question is, why does the Torah use the word guard? It could have just said, keep your words. What does it mean to guard your words? And what the Torah is saying is that just like you guard your wealth or your possessions because they're valuable, you should know that your words are the most valuable thing you possess and own. To be known as a person who is trustworthy, who is reliable, who is dependable, who is accountable, that your word is your bond, that when you say something people know they can trust you, that is the most precious commodity that you own, your integrity. And therefore, don't say, well, I forgot. I, I didn't think about what I was saying. I misspoke. Guard your words. Make sure that every word that you say is truthful. And once you say it, hold on to those words and keep them in mind and realize how precious they are. We're now in the month of El as we prepare for Rosh Hashanah. They are the words we speak to others that we have to keep and fulfill. But there's also the words that we speak to ourselves. We all made promises to ourselves about the lives we're going to lead, the way we're going to raise our children when we had children, the way we're going to conduct our marriage when we got married, the way we're going to be as human beings. We have to look back and say, have we kept those words? Have we safeguarded them? Have we treasured them? Have we watched over them and fulfilled them? And if not, it's never too late. Rosh Hashanah gives us the opportunity to go back and fulfill those promises made to others and even equally important, the ones we spoke to ourselves. Shabbat Shalom.